Friends, you see this fur? <coughs> this is a beautiful limb. Yeah, it's firewood, boy. Yep. That's some dandy firewood. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You know those little things you know that I, I made some i made some little coasters out of those well that's what i was thinking about uh, just making a few yeah i got i got some in the house oh yeah they look good oh, yeah. they gotta be dry though yeah oh yeah they do yeah I got Probably some, some bigger ones. I here. got some in the house. Yeah, there's some big ones up there in those tops. Or no, you're looking for limbs, aren't you? With yeah. real fine grain. I don't know. That might be the biggest limb we yeah, could find. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. You know, I was kind of looking around in there, and that see that arbutus there? Yeah. There, there's two of them. It's oh. A, it's a twin. Oh. And that one there. Thinking about taking the inside one. I was. Well, probably not a bad idea because then then nothing can come this way. That's right. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, come on, have a look at her. I looked at it the other day. And it's, uh, that's gross. Oh yeah, I see that. So friends, here's the scenario, right? You guys were down here the other day with us. Dad's getting to the point where, you know, he's starting to think about this stuff, his boats, his stuff. He's gonna eventually have probably a little house up top here, a little kind of a cabin or something. And he's, he don't want no problems at 75. Are you 75, dad? 77. You're 77? No, you're not. I will be in September. September 77. Yeah. Now, what, what's all that? Did Hydro do some work down there? Is no, that I, you? I threw that in. Oh, because it was rotten. It was rotten, yeah. That was that first Oh, one. I actually see what you're saying now, Dad. Well, you see? Oh. See that? That's a big twin is all it is. It is. That, that, that would look real nice in my woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you do have a point. This is his property. So here it is. Oh yeah, we'd have to get that to hang on pretty good, wouldn't we? Jeez, what can we do with that? Ooh, ooh. ooh. We'd have to go real easy on that guy. That thing's leaning out to the freaking shed hard. I know. It's going right there, friends. Look at. You know that there is one good thing. It's got that one big leader that's leaning the other way. Yeah. It's uh, almost calls for a little bit of a, a tagline, maybe off the back of this Arbutus or something. Good morning, friends. Um, it's been busy. I haven't, I haven't got a, uh, I think it's been two days since I haven't gotten a video out. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's interesting, you know, doing content and running the channel and, and life and, and We've, we've, we've had a busy couple of days around here, my, my, my home, um, Hogan's had his, uh, wisdom teeth out both sides, you know, so, um, he's a big help when he's around. So, uh, there's just been added, added stuff to do. And, uh, and I've been cutting, Brian needed a hand in yellow point. So we got the footage, but it's a matter of getting it, getting it down and out in, in the computer, you know, and all that stuff. So editing, editing, basically. Uh, so here we are. Um, so so this tree for me, friends, is, uh, I, I, I always listen to my gut on stuff like this. August Haneke and, and uh, uh, Jeff Schroeder, the guys that work for August, they deal with the Madrone. It's called Arbutus here is what we call it. It's the same tree. They know what they're like. Um, they don't hang on. They're so heavy. It's like so heavy, this wood. So what's going on in my mind right now is, can I, can I put an undercut over to this? Will it hang on? The question is, will it hang on? No. It, it, it's too much risk to, to think that, you know, Hey, if I can get it, if I did, great. But if not, guess what? Bad circumstances, like smashed sheds, boats, 
and, and our Arbutus is hard and unforgiving. So we make a plan. And uh, this is interesting. This is this is a good one. So uh, anyways, back to the show. But I just wanted to touch base and let you know what my brain's going through. Back at her. Yeah, and you see the big leader, friends? It goes off even further to the to the left. Well, to my right. See right there? There's the union. You see? And then it actually goes further out this way. So its crown weight is distributed more more this way. Ah, it's not good for this particular scenario. So let's hey, look at this. February the 21st. I got, I got daffodils. daffodils coming up. I know. Oh yeah. Look at, look at friends. So here we are at the shed. And I mean, if those hydro lines weren't there, I would actually put it there. Yeah, but they're there. They are there. So there is another alternative. A couple of them probably. He, he probably thought of scrambling up there and taking the top off. I did, but I don't reckon I'm going to do that. I, I yeah. reckon I'll probably... Put a tagline there. Well, I... I'll, well, no, you need more than that. It, you, the pole's not going to do nothing for it. See that leader, Dad? Yeah, the look, big one. The yeah, look too. where it's going. It's going over yeah, this way. I see it. So that's not going to help us. Yeah. But I, I'm not comfortable with just letting it go and hoping the, the hinge is going to hold. No way, Dad. Look at that. Uh-uh. No, that would be a foolish move, actually. Not worth it. No. You know, I get all excited with stuff like this. I like doing it, but no, it's freaking way up there and out there. And it'll take it out. With that but, freaking boat right there. You got 100,000 bucks worth of boats in there, Dad. Two of them. Yeah. So here's my plan. Whether I use the pickup or a series of wraps, I'm not sure. I think I'll probably use the pickup. Here's, here's the Arbutus right here. And look at the freaking lean on it as I go up. <laughs> it's actually leaning, friends, out there. So, but there is a hole to fall it up beside where we put them other furs at dad. But there's not, look where, look where the tree is as I come over, look. Look where it's at, look where it goes. You see, so it ain't pretty. I, I've got to somehow tag this tree back and I'm thinking of using this behind it. Now, that won't be that hard. Okay, friends, so here we are, we're set up. I went up the Arbutus. You didn't need to see me climb a tree to hang a rope in it. So what I did, friends, just so you know, is I climbed the back tree first, okay? So this is simple, as simple as it gets. This is 1800, uh, early 1900 logging stuff. This is, this is how I think about doing tree work. This is how I think about it. My, my loose, wheel right here right now is because that's going to want to run so yeah dad no that's not going to work you're not going to be able to because once it goes you you can't be tied to the truck dad so we're going to do it by hand okay so friends i've got wraps all i need here's what i've done i've climbed up and i'm not up high i'm not up high i'm up 30 feet maybe see it right there so i've gone up so I climbed this tree. I went up this tree. I went over a crotch and I went over to here and tied it off. See it right there? Where are you guys? There you are. There's the rope right there. Okay. So there I am running bowline. I'm on it. Now I'm over to this tree and then straight out to dad's truck, which is down over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a dry run on this thing. We're gonna put tension on it. And I'm gonna show you what our ropes do on the truck. So it will bite sooner, right? There's a method to the madness. So all I've done right now to get this Arbutus tree done, down is put a tagline in it. That's it, and hooked it over that crotch. So there it is. There's our rigging, right there. And it is tall. And if something goes wrong, friends, guess what? It ain't pretty. It ain't freaking pretty, but guess what? It, that truck either ends up up here, <laughs> which isn't gonna happen. So what I've done is I've come down here and I'm on a tag and, and I'm, not, I'm not real excited about this tagline, but it's gonna do. I don't need this thing to be here the whole time because dad mentioned he could pull ahead, set up and then back up. Well, if he backs up, he's still in this position, right? So the tree 
is going to take off. And you're going to be, well, it's going to, what will happen probably, I think, is, is what would happen is the tree would swing right around up into there, which isn't a terrible ordeal. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is set this camera up, and I'm just going to show you guys, I'm going to focus in on the rope so you guys can see that rigging tighten up as Dad pulls ahead. Okay, I've got my eye on the tree. Okay. we've got is I feel we've got a really good tag did you see the water dripping out of that line oh, yeah, really. okay so let's let's widen out okay so here we are now what I do before we get going is I check my tension on my rope on it we could we could even go a little more but I, I think this is all we're gonna need for tag I saw that back tree come actually dad yeah I see it moving do you? Yeah, yeah. The back one is. Yeah. Yeah. So that tells you our front one. Yeah, there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it would crush it. Okay. Let's go cut this tree down. This is going to be actually interesting. I don't need no wedges or nothing. She's leaning. So this will be easy to coerce. It'll be very interesting. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect, Dad. It's perfect. Okay, once again, there's our rig there, Dad's rig. One line, straight to the tree. Boom. Tag line. That's all this is. And it's a little bit back. So you'll watch this tree, friends. It will, it, it's probably pulling the tree backwards, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna get you guys right in on here. You know what would be groovy? Is if you guys could see me cutting. Look at, you see my tag? Look at, I'm in this. So here's our tree. It's a twin, a massive twin. So now that I've put weight on- So friends, stuff, dad's instruction is to just to hold the tag until that thing swings over enough and just let the rope go and it'll just chase out and go down. Like I'll actually be able to cut the stump up normally instead of freak out with some weird cut. Friends, something to note. Watch how much I can actually get the thing cut up before it starts to go, which tells you how much tag we got on it. Much. 
like a squeak. All's good. She come. She swung. She. I just kept watching. It just kept swinging and swinging and swinging. And I'm like, uh oh, she's hanging onto the bumper. Look where she ended up, though. Right up on the freaking, right up on the high side, Dad. That's actually pretty good. Look at look at the undercut. Look at the. So here, here this is very interesting. I want to explain something to you guys, gals, women, and children. This is very interesting. Okay. You see the fiber? What do you notice about the fiber, friends? What do you, like, what do you notice? There's no pull. There's no pull. So what that tells you is that the tree, when it got pulled up and back to get it off the shed, tells you that the stump starts to work again and it doesn't pull and break. There's, friends, that didn't. there's no need for a, 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 a bore cut there. I didn't want to bore cut it. Bore cuts snap and pop. And with all that weight on the left side out there, it could snap, pop and, and break. A, I'm not, I, I'm not, a bore cut for me has got to be extreme lean, weird situation. I pulled the tree back and put it, put it in the back. There's no sign of any breakage or, or, or nothing. Just come out nice. Come out real nice. So dad, did you want to like pull, pull this out or just buck it right where it's at? Okay. okay, I'm wondering, okay, you see what I got going right there, friends, eh? So I think I'll just drop it. I might leave that Arbutus right where it's at. Yeah, the little one. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking, Dad. Yeah. I'll cut it down, actually, because then, uh, can you pull all the slack out, Dad, please? So you, you see what I got here, right, friends? I'm gonna go buck this, and Dad's gonna pull it out. I'm gonna go tie him up on a bowline up here. Okay, so Dad's on the pickup. We got a series of rolls. Uh, I'm hoping he's gonna drag it, because we're quite a ways in the bush here. I'm hoping we can get this out a little ways. I'm gonna go buck this thing over there, right? You'll see me there, friends. I'm just gonna leave you on this, because this isn't, this isn't enough. So I'm gonna leave you guys right here. Okay, I got him hooked up over there. He's gonna come in and he's gonna pull this thing. So. Go! <laughs> you know how to go, don't you, Dad? I did. This is why we stopped. <laughs> but now, friends, you spend that, like, there's no power saw work. You cut the freaking tree down. Yeah. Where you go? Perfect. You just take it out big like you're logging. I look at things like logging always, always have. Uh, like, look at all the crowns up here. You got a burn pit up here, don't you, somewhere? I'm going to make one. Well, there you go. So look at this. This is beautiful. Here's a cord in this tree for sure, Dad. Oh, easy. Yeah. I'm, I think good. Too. Okay, a little bit of power saw work and we're good. I'll just make sure this is safe for Dad so I don't want him going in there. And, uh, actually, Dad, we could probably leave that up in the air for bucking. Yeah. Just uh, 
It, it, it actually looks pretty good. All right, friends. So that's that. So we've got uh, this this Arbutus cuts like it's it's interesting stuff. Did you see Dad pull that off there? <laughs> He's a wild man. You tell him to go, he goes. You got to be ready with Dad when he when it's time to go. So this is where that tree swung around, right up on top of the hump here. Boom! Just deadly, actually deadly. <laughs> These trees are nuts. Look how tall this freaking thing is. That's half the tree. A little more than half the tree. The stump is right there, friends. Like it was, it was tall, really tall. Sorry, you guys are. Sorry. Interesting. Anyway, we're done. Give dad a hand. He, uh, I'll come down and, and, and help him buck this and split it and all that racket, right? Yeah. There we go. So, uh, you know, these, uh, they take a bit of use to get into these here. They're fun. Did you see that, friends? This is a splitting axe. Like, it splits. This was designed for a splitting axe. Not for chopping, but I gotta be honest. I'm, I've been very surprised. Like, look at this thing. It's, it's just sharp. It came out sharp. That's eight inches of wood right there. Is that what I just chopped? No, this. Yeah. What can you guys, what can you guys see? Look at that. Look, look at this thing go. Like, look at this thing. This thing's amazing. Look at that. Uh, uh, this thing's...
take notice. It's so fat and warm. Listen. Isn't that lovely? Double coated ambassador, right? Coated ambassador. Just glorious, right?
Okay. Propane is off. The wrench is in my hand. Into my back pocket. My clothes is everywhere. I am dirty. Yes, I am. <laughs> See you on the next video, friends. Be sure to do the things that makes you feel good in your heart, your spirit, and help other people. Be kind to them, too. Over and out, friends. See you on the next video.